Hello and welcome back to the Mug Talk podcast where we talk about books, reading, writing, and sometimes food because food is amazing, let's be honest. I am your host, Jay Faith Kenny. Grab yourself your your favorite mug and your beverage of choice, even though I have to be honest, guys, today I'm not drinking out of a mug. I am drinking out of just a regular water bottle, uh, like a metal water bottle, and I'm drinking water. Today's episode topic, we are talking about how world, I mean words, are hard. I did that on purpose. Now, I am going to list five of like words that I get confused while writing. Um, these are words that are like very similar in spelling that are very easy to mix up. And when I'm editing, I go back and I'm like, why did I, why is there a though when it's supposed to be through or something like that? I feel like as writers, though, we get words wrong, like simple words wrong all the time in drafting, I should say. When we're drafting and we're just going with the flow, going with the flow, um, we get like simple words just mix up or we put weird words that sometimes our spell check doesn't even check uh, get or like just weird words. So today I am listing my top five words that I feel like I get confused pretty often when I'm drafting. There are probably way more. In fact, I know there's way more, but these are five words that I came up with that I know for a fact. 90% of those times when I'm using that word, like one of these words, I use the other. So the first word that we are going to talk about is cheek and check. I can't tell you guys how many times I just totally use check when I'm trying to use cheek because I barely, like very rarely I meant to say, use um, check. I usually use cheek like a tear rolls down her cheek or something like that. And I can't tell you how many times, even when I'm reading through it sometimes, where I kind of just gloss over it because let's be honest. E for like check, I mean cheek is C C H E E K. And I can't tell you how many times the E looks like a C or a C looks like the E. And I just gloss over it because they're in similar shape. You know, they're both curved, except for E has a little mark there. But like, I get this one confused all the time and it's kind of sad to be quite honest the next one nose and noise they're not even in the same category like they're two very completely different things one's a body point one's a music what a musical instrument make like they're very different but sometimes when i'm trying to write nose which is N-O-S-E, I sometimes put an I in there. Why? I don't know. That's a good, very good question. Now, I like to blame this little mistake, this little mishap on how the I and the O are close together. Sometimes when I'm writing nose, I put an extra I there just because my finger gloss over it. I'm just going to say that, but I know for reality, that's not it. Sometimes I put it. Now, I... Be- I'll be honest, with nose, I just combined them, with no nose and noise, I had this brain fart, I can tell you, and this was just very pretty recently when I was drafting something, um, I had a brain fart on which one was which, and I didn't ask Google or I didn't ask Siri on my computer, I was just like, which one's nose and which one's noise, like, it just... I couldn't get it for a long time, which is kind of sad, but I finally got it, and I don't know, because now I'm editing, like, that draft, I don't know if I mixed it up or not, because I didn't, like, really keep track, but I don't know. I got those two confused. The third one on our list of five is the one that I have been, uh, like, mixing up recently, or, like, I say the word out loud, or I think it like I think that one word but I put the other one is who and how now you might think they're spelled completely differently but they have the three exact same letters just in different order 
Now, I can't tell you how many times for this project that I'm working for, how many times I have mixed up who for how or how for who. I'm like, why is this happening and how is this happening? Or I would probably say if when I was drafting, who is this happening? Yeah, that's just the recent one that I have had. And I never struggled with it before, but apparently for this um, project, it loves to come out mixture. So the next one and the fourth one on our list is a group of three. It is of, off, and if. Now, this one I feel like is just the actual the excuse that they're close by each other. And that's how I get them confused for of and if. I feel like that one's valid. Um, and then for off, a lot of times I just forget to put the extra F. Like I just put of and it's supposed to be off and it's like, nope, there needs to be an extra F. Or sometimes I spell off IFF -F, and again, I feel like this excuse, unlike for the one for nose and noise, the O and I are very close to each other. And so I press the I instead of the O or I press the O for if instead of the I and sometimes when you're reading like if and it's supposed to be of you just get or well, I personally get very confused I'm like wait what is this supposed to be and I kind of just end up working the whole such such sentence wow that was a hard way to say another example how words are hard they're just hard and finally the fifth place winner the one that holds all of them that one I had struggled with Neuroner and the one that I've struggled with in this project that I'm working on and I feel like most authors most writers I should say struggle with this group of three of words though through thought those three words oh my god they're so similar and it's kind of annoying because you're reading through and you sometimes have though when you have and when it's supposed to be thought or you have thought or through when it's supposed to be though and it's just like ah it's just it's annoying because they're two three very different words even though they're uh spelled very similar but like each of the though through and then thought are very different words and so sometimes like when i'm reading every reading and it's she thought through the four, even though it's supposed to be she went through the four or something like that. I realize I said went the second time around, but that's okay. So those are my top five words that I often, that I can recall that I often get confused or mixed up whenever I'm drafting. Like I said, this is usually words when we get mixed up when we're drafting. Um, I'm sure I can come up with a whole other list of five words that I get confused all the time, like that look very similar but are very different in meaning. So yeah, let me know what kind of words you get like confused on. Do you agree with my list of five? Is there more that you get confused on? And of course, there is no judgment on which words you get confused on because writing's hard, words are hard to put together or just even to think about sometimes. <laughs> Again, I am your host, J. Faith Kenny, author of the Neuron Duology. I realized that in the first episode, I never actually said that. I just said, I'm your host, J. Faith Kenny, but I never said that I'm the author of Neuron Duology. Anyway, you can find me on, on the social media, um, also on my website, jfaithkenny.com. And, and that is it for the second episode of Mug Talk. I hope you enjoyed. Again, you can go over to my website on jfaithkenny.com and there's a little tab for Mug Talk and join the discussion over there. Uh, tell which words you relate to on for my list and also share the words that you have trouble with. All right, you guys, that is all for me and bye.